We all like to think of ourselves as rational, but you know that's not true, at least not the whole truth. That's why there is a huge industry in marketing, because we are emotional decision makers. So that's today's topic, the future of marketing. Today I'm in Dubai to talk about uh, technology and anthropology and uh, what all the changes actually mean for the future of advertising and marketing. So imagine this, imagine you have this, this very best friend, a true loyal friend always by your side. And not only that, this friend of course understands your feelings, your emotions. So this friend is 100% um, sure if you are angry or sad or happy or feeling lonely or depressed. According to Gartner, in just three years time, in 2022, 10% of our devices will have emotion AI capabilities. So that means that in the not so distant future, your smartphone might become really smart about you. So it could tell what kind of feelings you get when you hear something or see something or get into a conversation with someone. So think of that, park that idea. And then think of um, the new technology from uh, a search engine perspective. Search engines, as you know, are um, increasingly better today on uh, visual and voice. So you don't necessarily have to, to write your questions, but you could actually just uh, uh, search with pictures or sound. And visual search is one of the, the growing uh, trends right now in advertising because, of course, um, as you know, pictures has a, a thousand words and, and it's easier for me to search with a look rather than explaining how those sneakers look like. So think of those uh, trends and then combine these two. So if you have emotion AI, so your um, phone actually know your feelings and then you can search with a look or a sound. That means that your phone will understand if you get happy from a song or if you feel healthy when you eat some certain type of foods and everything. And then of course, it could start to serve you those kind of answers that actually makes your life feel better. If everybody now have this kind of superpower from a tech perspective, that means that I expect you as an advertiser to meet me as an individual, not as a target group. Forget about target groups. I mean, um, it's not about thinking uh, local. I mean, you used to say act global, think local, but now it's more like act global, think individual. And also imagine what this means from a transformation perspective. I mean, when everybody have access, this raises the bar and my expectations. And I expect you to meet me on this individual level. And since I have all these capabilities um, and it will be emotional choices, uh, the problem for brands and advertisers will not be anymore about communicating a product or a brand, but rather a value. And I've been talking about that in, in some previous um, speeches here on YouTube, you can check my, my, my trust speech, for instance. Uh, I think that with access, everything will move to trust. Because when everybody have access to this technology, we will start to make our decisions from a trust perspective. So what do you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments. And uh, if you like these short speeches, like always, hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the future.